My favorite project that I've worked on is a project for GE Foundation to help them design their new flagship initiative in global health, which focuses on safe surgery. Um, and we started with them very early in the process. They didn't even know that they wanted to make investments in surgery. And we helped them kind of identify the enormous need in improving access to safe surgery, especially in low and middle income countries. And so part of why we picked safe surgery as the topic is because 5 billion people around the world, mostly women and girls, lack access to safe surgery. Um, and what that means is that while, while I sit here in the U.S. and many of us sit here in the U.S. and we think if I had a sudden need for a surgery, I could go down the street or I could go 20 minutes away and, and have access to that surgery, in most of the low and middle income countries around the world, the majority, the vast majority of the population is not within two hours of a hospital or a clinic that can that can provide them with safe surgery. And so GE Foundation said, we want to start to address this and bring access to safe surgery to those 5 billion people, which is a mind-boggling number, that can't currently access it. And so in my role at Dahlberg, we helped them start to unpack where were the most promising opportunities to actually invest in safe surgery and start to make progress? Because one, one organization or one funder is not going to bring access to 5 billion people overnight. But where were the geographies and what were the programs that they could start to invest in to move that needle? Um, and so we started our work in Ethiopia. Uh, and part of why I love this project so much is because we actually continue to work with them past pure strategy. Um, and so I've been working on the same project for four years now. I've gotten to see them take it from this very early idea that we all had um, through to launching it with the Minister of Health in Ethiopia, through to rolling out the trainings with 100 or so surgical providers in Ethiopia. And then I've gotten to see the impact that it's had and, and how it's increased access in some areas of Ethiopia by up to 50%. So you're doubling the, the number of people that have access to surgery. 